Hello viewers, time for farm again with the goats. Uh, so as we know, goats are escape artists. So before we let them out, um, we decided to create some sort of barricade to stop them getting out. The big reveal. Come on then. straw like this on the little bells acts as raffage and a source of fibre for the goats as well as um, something for the little billy kids to jump on and play with. Um, so I'd put one bale and cut it up for bedding and then the other one I'd just leave in the pen like I said in the previous video for the billies to jump on and play around because they're quite active. Since the goats have arrived, um, Rex is now Rex the pig sheep goat dog uh, because yeah, I don't think he'd ever seen goats before so he's very fascinated with them most of the days if I've not taken him to work with me he always just sits by the fence and just watches the goats um, as they clear up our kitchen garden to be um, it took them a while to get used to get into the garden because the doors were kept uh, in a barn on, on straw so uh, yeah it took them a while to get used to it but now they're pretty good and they're getting on with the job of uh, clearing up. It's quite cool for them to see how selective they are when they eat. Sheep update. Uh, the sheep are still behaving way better than the pigs. Um, they're growing nicely uh, and, and they've been clearing up, clearing up the field pretty good. I think the grass is a bit ahead of them uh, so I might have to, not I might have to, I will, with the help of uh, my neighbour, Farmer Barry, um, get the neighbouring fields topped off and potentially make hay out of them, um, just to give the grass a better chance to grow, grow a bit better. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the lambs. It's my first, it's our first time having sheep, and yeah, we're enjoying it. Ginger Ninja update: um, They've been up to their usual antics, escaping, arthing out fences, getting out, going to my neighbour's garden, Kelly. Um, but their recent antic was to end up on the railway line, which was not good. So at the back of those trees there, there's a our fence and then there's a railway line fence, which is a chicken wire where it's only about two foot. So I'm hoping that um, that can get um, made into a bit of a more substantial fence to keep him in. Um, I've got electrical around there now, so they, they, they don't get out as often. Um, and if they do, they don't go too far now. And also, we've got a few unwanted pregnancies, as you can see that chunky thing there. And it's probably another two that I think are pregnant, which is a bit annoying, but just means we've got some free piglets. Other than that, they're doing really good. I couldn't be happier with them, aside from them escaping all the time. So I took this video two weeks after introducing, well, after we got the goats or letting them out into the garden. And as you can see, look at what they've done. Um, it's so good honestly this would have been would have taken I don't know a few hours with a slasher probably a bit quicker with this trimmer but doing it like this with the animals they're getting nutrients uh, from it they're getting uh, a behavioral um, reward from it because this is what goats do goats are browsers they selectively eat as you can see uh, my main man there Chege as I zoom in, is that Shege? No, that's not Shege, that's 7754. Shege is 7755. Um, Shege is a Kikuyu name for a guy. Um, not for a guy, but a man, it's a man's name. And yeah, they're, they're doing a really good job and I enjoy seeing them selectively eating. So carry on clearing, my friends, carry on clearing. 